What is encryption? The process of converting plain text to cipher text is called encryption. What is decryption? The process of converting cipher text to plain text is called decryption. What is a substitution cipher? A substitution cipher is a method of encryption where each letter in the plain text is replaced with another letter according to a fixed system. Give an example of a substitution cipher. Yes, one example is the Caesar cipher, where each letter is shifted by a three positions in the alphabet. A becomes D, B becomes E and so on. What is a transposition cipher? A transposition cipher is a type of encryption where the positions of the letters in the plain text are rearranged according to a certain system. What is the difference between substitution and transposition ciphers? Substitution ciphers replace individual characters, while transposition ciphers rearrange the order of characters in the plain text. What is rail fence cipher? Rail fence cipher is a transposition cipher that rearranges the plain text letters by writing them in a zigzag pattern across a certain number of rows. What is symmetric and asymmetric cipher? In a symmetric cipher, the same key is used for both encryption and decryption, and both communicating parties must share this secret key. In an asymmetric cipher, a public key cryptography, a pair of keys, that is public and private keys, is used. The public key is shared openly, while the private key is kept secret, enabling secure communication without the need for a shared secret key. What does RSA stand for? R RSA stands for Rivest Shmir Edelman, named after its inventors Rivest, Shamir, and Adelman. What type of algorithm is RSA? RSA is an asymmetric also called public key encryption algorithm. Explain the concept of public and private keys in RSA. RSA uses a pair of keys a public key for encryption that is shared openly and a private key for decryption that is kept secret. How does a document sign digitally? To sign a document digitally, the document is signed, encrypted, using the sender's private key and is unsigned using sender's public key by the receiver. How are the public and private keys generated in RSA? Public and private keys are generated by selecting two large prime numbers, calculating their product for the modulus, n, and finding the public and private exponents. Explain the process of RSA encryption and decryption. In RSA encryption, the sender uses the receiver's public key to encrypt the message, and the receiver uses his private key to decrypt the message. How does RSA provide confidentiality and authentication in communication? RSA provides confidentiality through encryption using the recipient's public key and authentication by using digital signatures created with the sender's private key. What is confidentiality, integrity and availability? Confidentiality ensures secret information sent by a sender is only received by the intended receiver. Integrity ensures that information remains unchanged during storage, processing, or transmission. Availability ensures that information and resources are available to the authorized users wherever needed. What is a message auth authentication code, MAC? A message authentication code, MAC is a cryptographic technique that uses a secret key to generate a fixed size tag, hash, to authenticate a message. How does a MAC differ from a digital signature? MACs use a shared secret key for both generation and verification, providing message integrity and authenticity without non-repudiation. In digital signature there is no secret key shared between the parties. What is the purpose of a MAC in communication? The primary purpose of a MAC is to verify the integrity and authenticity of a message, ensuring that it has not been tampered with and originated from the expected sender. How is a MAC verified by the recipient? The recipient uses the same cryptographic algorithm and shared secret key to recompute the MAC from the received message and compares it with the received MAC for verification. Can MACs prevent eavesdropping during communication? No, 
Bags are designed for message integrity and authenticity. They do not prevent eavesdropping. What is the difference between a Mac and a digital signature? While both generate fixed size outputs, a Mac uses a secret key for generation and verification, whereas a digital signature ensures data integrity without a key. What is the purpose of the Diffie-Hellman key exchange? The Diffie-Hellman key exchange is used to generate and share a secret key between two parties. Can Diffie-Hellman provide authentication along with key exchange? No, Diffie-Hellman is susceptible to a man-in-the-middle attack, so it's recommended to combine it with additional mechanisms, such as digital signatures, for authentication. What is IP security? IPsec. IPsec is a suite of protocols that provides security services for Internet Protocol, IP communication by authenticating and encrypting each IP packet. IPsec works at which layer of OSI? IPsec operates at the network layer, layer 3, of the OSI, Open Systems Interconnection, model. It is designed to secure and provide various security services for IP, Internet Protocol, communication. Communication. What is an intrusion detection system, IDs? An intrusion detection system is a security tool that monitors and analyzes network or system activities for signs of malicious behavior or policy violations. What are the two main types of detection methods used in IDs? The two main types are signature-based detection, using predefined patterns, and anomaly-based detection, Identifying deviations from normal behavior. What is a firewall? A firewall is a network security device that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. What is the primary purpose of a firewall? The primary purpose of a firewall is to establish a barrier between a trusted internal network and untested external networks controlling the flow of data to prevent unauthorized access and potential security threats. How does a packet filtering firewall work? A packet filtering firewall examines packets of data and filters them based on predefined rules such as source and destination IP addresses, ports, and protocols. How does a firewall differentiate between incoming and outgoing traffic? Firewalls use rules to distinguish between incoming and outgoing traffic based on factors such as source and destination addresses, ports, and protocols. Can a firewall protect against malware and viruses? While firewalls can provide some protection by filtering malicious traffic, they are not a foolproof solution for malware and virus protection. Additional security measures like antivirus software are often used in conjunction with firewalls. What is a rule-based firewall? A rule-based firewall is a security system that filters network traffic based on predefined rules, determining whether to allow or block data packets based on specified criteria such as source and destination IP addresses, ports, and protocols.